after a long day of grinding, talking to people, Vashtan cursed me out about three times, y'all. But I was able to get him on the channel to talk a little Saints, and y'all gonna see him every week. He's just gonna be cursing me out every week because this this little brotherhood we call this the superhero. <laughs> you can see me. Look at my eyes. I'm working on my time. No, look, no, look at my eyes. First. Don't 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 worry about your clock. Look at my eyes. That, hey, my eyes tell you what time it is. Hey, Vash, I had somebody stop me in the store, and they said, "Bro." Y'all chemistry is crazy. I said, bro, this five, six years in the making. That's oh, really my man. brother. Longer than that. And, and to see us grow, man. So I know Vach is doing well, y'all. We coming right in hot to talk football. You know, I, I caught his podcast earlier today with him and Brian. The how you doing? We doing fine. Hey, Vach, I know you doing What's fine. The show? What's the name of the show? <laughs> He's like, how we doing? What is, well, hold on, Vach. What, what's your tagline? What's the tagline? We doing Everybody, all right. Folks. We do, everybody's doing fine. We doing all right. First, how you doing, podcast? <laughs> Come on, man, chill out. Do the do the bit, US man. Go. Do Let me. US. Hey, before we get started, y'all, um, shout out to our dynamic sponsors, man. Bet US. They can take care of all your betting needs. Um, uh, futures. We're on a week two. Uh, the, the Cowboys are favored by six. I like that line. Um, listen, you see, they got Canadian football on here, college football. Any futures, anything you want, man, BetUS has you taken care of. The website is very easy to operate, 125% bonus on your first three deposits. BetUS, BetUS, BetUS is the dynamic sponsor of this channel. Here we go, Vach Lombardi. Vach, I have a few questions for you. Yes, but overall, I want to get your thoughts on this Cowboys offense because I hear conversations this week. And we'll get to the Saints matchup in a second. But I hear conversations this week, and it's like, you know, Dallas kind of, you know, I think they only got, I don't know if they even got a first down in the second half or they didn't do much in the second half. To mm -hmm. you, Vach, was that Mike kind of taking his foot off the gas? Do we have this same lull that we had in the first half of the season last year with the offense? What's your thoughts there, Vach? Um, yeah, probably so. You know, when you see what your um defense is doing, you know, to the other side and you still putting up points regardless, you just kind of chill out a little bit. I think when you um when you need your offense to step up and be your offense, they'll step up and be your offense. We see it with the big play from Lamb on the right side, the touchdown the to, um Cooks on the other side, the 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 wide open touchdown from Zeke up the middle. Um I think you can you can move the ball if you want to. And that's versus a a great defense. And that's something I want Cowboy fans to just be focused on. You know, you may have put hands all over Watson, but that Cleveland defense ain't nothing to mess with, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you were able to move the ball pretty, you know, pretty decent on those guys. And if I'm the, if I'm the Cleveland offense and defense and my morale is already down and I look out there and Brandon Aubrey make a 66 yard field goal easy. I like, man, I'm just going to go home and just tap out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think as far as how that translates with the, with the, with the saints, I mean, hell, if you look at a blowout game from last year, you know, we'll start off kind of hot. We start beating the hell out of somebody. We kind of take the fall off the gas a little bit. Um, yeah. this, you know, if you just listen to what the team has been saying, listen to what Zim and um, Micah, D-Law, and what Trey Diggs has been saying. You know, they were like, hey, man, we ain't even really got in the bag for real because they had a bag open, but they only need, needed to reach in that one time. So yeah. in my yeah. mind, you, you want to save all your best stuff relatively you know some of your more complex looks but if you could be somebody with like base and fundamental stuff and just running the football and slants and hitches you you you're pretty much going going to do that so i think the more the more dangerous the opponent gets the more you you'll probably show on offense man you know Vach, and we're still waiting to see if marshawn Lattimore is going to play it sounded like we don't know if talisa wag is going to play you hear dak prescott today say you know we left meat on the bone that that mamba mentality um, it, it it also sounds like he is extremely, yeah, too a bad bro. Um, or two or through another one of John. Man, yeah, we, we we're we're taping this throughout the uh, we're taping this throughout the the Dolphins Bills game, and yeah, two is bad. Um, I think that I think that one of the things to think about, right, when it comes to this Cowboys offense, is 
Can the Cowboys run the ball against the Saints? Watch. Mm -hmm. Brian Brissy, um, Chase Young, Pete Warner, uh, Ohio State, all guys that we cover, Vosh, is crazy. Like, yeah. you know, Sean Lattimore on the back end. They got some okay guys. Paulson Adebo, I remember him coming out. They got some names, Vosh. Yeah. How do you feel about this run game? Do we think that this run game could do anything? Do we think that? Because I, I believe, right, I believe that the Cowboys can throw the ball 35 times, but do we want to? Even at home, do we want to, Vosh? Can Dallas establish – I'm not talking about 150 yards from one, one guy or 125 from one guy. Sure. Can we establish some type of run game, Vosh Lombardi? Um, I think this will be the year well, – this will be the game that we, uh, you know, that we can officially grade Zeke and Rico's test properly. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you can, you can give Zeke a little grace. And, look, I've been mean to Zeke for a while. I don't hate Zeke, but I've been mean to him. Uh, but at least I understand that the Browns defense is a is a tough little situation to try to run against. Brian Breesy in the middle foots ain't good. Peyton okay. Turner, Peyton Turner in the middle, I don't think he's good. Mm -hmm. Cam Jordan is probably gonna be a Saints Ring of Honor member, but he ain't as good as he once was. Okay. Um, what's my man? Uh Granderson, you yeah. know. Granderson's like a like a rundown guy and pass rush. He'll he'll go out to the wide nine or whatever. Dog, we just saw Zadarius Smith, Miles Garrett, Dalvin Tomlinson. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't think we should have too big of an issue running running the football here. I think the interior of your offensive line should. I'm not yes. saying what will happen, but they should get a great deal of push on these guys in the middle because if Carolina can move them, we should destroy them. That's yes. just that's just facts. Was um, even like even 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 they linebackers, man. I mean, Davis cool, man, but Davis ain't the Mario ain't Davis. Jail, like yeah. he ain't, he ain't JOK. You know what I'm saying? So I think it'll be easy to get to the second level and block him. JOK a different kind of athlete. He real slashy and sideways. It's hard to get on him foot. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think you'll have run lanes to run the football. I just learned. I just learned today. Um. <laughs> You know, you know, this advanced, this advanced analytic stuff, rushing yards over expected. Mm -hmm. I just I just learned what what that is today. They shouldn't have taught me none of this shit for <laughs> apparently Zeke was supposed to have 70 yards. <laughs> so so, so everybody trolling, everybody trolling. You said slow down. So, uh what's your night long foot Scott foot? Zeke was supposed to have 70 yards uh last Sunday, but he ended up with his 40. 40 with 40. And people were throwing a, and they was throwing a they was throwing a, a party. Tell me I need to apologize, but his yards over respect. I ain't gonna turn this into a bash and Zeke thing. No, I'm no. just saying what the I'm just saying what the analytics say. Um I will I will say that Zeke and Rico Dowdle should take this opportunity to find some rhythm. Yes. Half of the battle with, with running backs is rhythm. First, you got to feel the game sometimes. You're an athlete, you're a coach, you know it. You got to feel the game sometimes. Yes, sir. To your point, Marshawn Lattimore dealing with a hamstring, and those typically just don't get massaged out. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's tightness, you you can talk about it, but he didn't even practice today. So that's something that's something that's worth mentioning. Yes, sir. Um I don't think they got enough dudes. That's yeah. that's 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 Talented enough to tap in with CeeDee Lamb or uh or Brandon Cooks. You saw them bring a lot of pressure. And we'll still tell you this because I talked to him about this. You saw them bring a lot of pressure, but I imagine that they tried to blitz all these characters because they just don't have the the horses to to, to pass rush and, and and bring forth. Chase Young can't do it by himself. And I really don't feel bad about battling Chase Young because we just fought Miles Garrett and we just did solid there. So Foots the damn nickel corner number one. He had three sacks last week. Yeah, they just kept blitzing him, you know. And they they was blitzing all yeah. the linebackers. Alante, Alante Taylor, yeah, they was blitzing all those guys. Foots, and I think that's because they couldn't generate pass rush by themselves. And me and Broad has just had this conversation. Man, you ain't just finna be blitzing Dak like that. Like you just crazy. You ain't finna lose your mind and go crazy and blitz and blitz Dak like that, please. Yeah. So I think the 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 Saints gonna have to do something different than what they did last week. But that might not be what they want to do. 
Eight years in the league, Marshawn Lattimore, I think that's actually a bad matchup if he they just mono mono him with CD. Because CD is entering his prime. Sean Lattimore was once a really good corner, Botch. I mean, you we were we I we've been doing this long enough. We remember when he came out. Mm-hmm. Um, love Marshawn Lattimore's game, but I mean it's just eight year. He's he has battle injuries. Um, I think with Paulson Adebo coming out of Stanford, terrible matchup for CD because he's more of a zone off type of a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what you're saying about the D-line, I think you're absolutely right. They have a lot of lunch pail guys. They don't have a guy like Miles Garrett is a guy. TJ Watt is a guy. They don't have that. Even even Demario Davis, when I think about it, he's he's like London Fletcher from back in the day, Vox. He ain't better than Overshaw. Vox, we talk office, Vox. No, nah, he ain't better than Overshaw. I'm going to tell you that right now. No, 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 but, you, but you're absolutely right. So when you when you I say this, this is one of those games where I want to see Mike call it mm-hmm. and get us in the right matchups, Vach. But it's not one of the, like the six point line makes sense because I think Dallas is about 10 to 15, 10 to 14 points better than this team. Mm-hmm. But again, like you're saying, hey, you go out there and the play calling is goofy or like you need to be able to run the ball at home. Sure. What you're saying about those extra 30 yards that Zeke left out there, okay, let's give Deuce a carry. Okay, mm-hmm. let's give Turpin a carry. Me and you were talking pre-show, and we're talking about Bill Belichick missing at Turpin. And Turpin had that miss over the middle of the field early in the game, right? Let's give these guys a carry. Let's give some juice. Let's get some juice going, Vach. Um, I will say this. The Saints were ranked 24th defensively last year running uh, versus, uh, uh, run game. Their run game, rushing defense was 24th. Mm-hmm. Botch, let's make them stop the run first. Like, sure. however we have to get it done, let's make them stop the run first. Mm-hmm. And then I think that our play action opens up. Botch, here's my question, and you have me on your show. Now I'm going to have you on mine, and we're going to talk about this. I'm not letting you get out of here without us talking about this, Botch Lombardi. I, I cut this off right now. It just threatening me. <laughs> what you talking about? Late night with Vach Lombardi. Hey, Vacho. Uh, Receivers. For the Dallas Cowboys. Jalen Wright, so tough. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been a Cowboy. Man. Botch. Ah, but I like our draft class. I love our draft class. Good. Historic draft class. Be good. Vosh Lombardi. They're going to double CD at some point. Yeah. Brandon Cooks. Oh, d- d- is this the game that you're saying, Tobert, I need to see something. Please, anything. My first option is I'm trying to get Brandon Cooks going. Y- you said the name. You know, I think Brandon Cooks suffered from the offense being non nonsensical, but I think mm-hmm. once the offense figured itself out, Brandon Cooks really started going crazy, and Cooks then scored a touchdown in each of the last five regular season games. So I think I think Cooks is on his way, and if they want to come out here doing a bunch of blitzing and cover three stuff, because I'm an offensive play caller uh, for so cover three. Yes, you are. Cover three just like cover one to me. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, to- I feel the same way, Vox. In my mind, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you want to go out there playing that with Brandon Cooks, good luck to he probably run past one of y'all kids. I, I just don't think, like, regardless of what we got going on at wide receiver, Paulson Adebo and Kool-Aid can't be out here shutting you down. You know? No. Um, no. So I think this would be a great game for Jalen Tolbert. But Foots, I think this would be a great game to get Jalen Brooks equally involved to see if he's better. Mm. I think he's fair. Just as much favor, or just as many. Hey, we we walk in like, hey, let's give, uh, let's give Jalen Tober a couple more opportunities. Let's also give Jalen Brooks some opportunities so that we can so we can figure out what's going on. You know, so we can see who's the better guy between both of them. And once we figure that out, then we can move accordingly. But we know who Lamb and Zeke. I mean, who Lamb and um, not Zeke, Lamb and um, Cooks are. Yes. Um. So, um. Ferguson, even if he plays, I don't think he's going to be the same guy. So I think this would be a great game for Hunter Lipke and any backup tight end that's trying to gain a little ground. This would be a fantastic time for them, for sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I like I like what you're saying about Tolbert, and I like what you're saying about Brooks. And maybe it's too early to call on a break glass for Ryan Flournoy. You know I've been trying to get him out there, but maybe it's a little too early. We'll What's give him – we, we get to game five, and it's like, you know – you don't see anything from that second, third receiver, and you're still winning games. That's cool, but we know what's coming down the pipe. Um, one of the interesting things about this team, 
Vach is I love the tempo that they play with early in the game. And then they kind of, they literally, like Mike literally slowed the game down. I can honestly say there is value in that because I remember there was a time when Jason Garrett was your play caller and everything looked the same. They got to the line the same. They they called the offense the same. They did certain things the same, right? Mm -hmm. So there is value in playing at different tempos. I just want to see Dallas put their foot on the gas um, even in the second half because there's going to be times where, hey, your defense maybe can't hold you throughout the whole game. Everybody's not going to play as bad as Deshaun Watson. Now, some of that was you made Deshaun Watson play bad, but then some of that is Deshaun Watson is bad. But I could argue that maybe Cleveland is a better team than the Saints, Foch. Mm -hmm. But obviously what you did defensively was it, you were able to make him play bad. So this is my last question for our offense, Foch, and dealing with our offense. Yeah. When, when you look at this team, What's the one in this game? What's the one thing that the Cowboys cannot do versus this defense? Whether it's take sacks, obviously I know it'll probably be turn the ball over, but what's the one thing that the Cowboys cannot do in your in your mind? Man, we coaches, man, they can't turn the ball lower for us because because and and especially now for the same reasons last uh, last week. If you're the better team, if you just gen if you generally genuinely better than the other team, bro, you just can't be turning the football over. If you give the Saints three extra times to go out there on offense, um, then they win, or or, yeah. or or they or rather they make this fight much tougher than it should be. You know what I'm saying? So, um, nah, just just don't turn over the ball. And if the offensive linemen are gonna block the interior properly, then then make sure that you don't leave leave yards on the field. I think that's easy. Okay. Yeah, and I feel I feel really good about it. It's, it's strange. Like, you made a great point in closing, Vach. Going against that Browns D-line, mm -hmm. then it feel like you just like, okay, you got a B-plus on that test. So for the rest of the season, like, you're okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not saying that there won't be better D-lines throughout as the year goes on, but would there be a better defense that you see? Maybe Pittsburgh. Maybe a few defenses in the north, but like complete defense, I don't know, Vach. So mm -hmm. maybe some of that offensively was, man, and this is what I tell people too. Some of that offensively was you just play some guys. Like, you know, Brian made the point about the separation mm -hmm. that and lack thereof. So you just you literally just play some guys, man. So I'll be looking forward offensively uh to some of the things that you talk about. Vach, you got anything else? I know you got to get some rest, buddy. You got anything else? No, nah, man, I just, um, you know, this this uh, front seven is nothing like the one that you played last week, so take advantage of that. That's all. And, and the secondary, too, to be fair. You know, that, that Brown secondary is really, really good. So um, I just don't think a rookie and Paulson Adebo should be doing too much damage to you. And uh, I think uh, Honey Badger got a calf. So um, Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He'll, he'll probably play a little bit, but he ain't going to be the same. So uh, we'll see. Hey. As always, guys, thank you all for liking, share, subscribing. So this is what the channel is going to look like. Film early in the week. I'm going to have a guest on or two uh, breaking down the game. It's going to be Vach. You just don't know yet. And um, <laughs> but, hey, listen, Vach, oh, I also want to give Vach his flowers. Um, Vach, how was your first hit before you go? How did you like it uh, going in, in studio uh, over at, uh, what is it, D, uh, what is it? DLLS. It was on. Um... DLLS. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we need to be, <sighs> I was about to say something humble for us. Let me just chill out on that. But like con content creators are the shit. I'll say that. Yes. We, we are, we are the next wave. So yes. if anything, you can give shout outs to some of these companies that recognize that, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of ways that some of these companies can go. Yes. Um, But the fact that they're leaning into the content people. They're they're trending towards the right direction. Brian brought us in them is recognizing the talent that's on YouTube and they're trending in the right direction. So um, I did the post game show. I do the post game show for DLLS and we do it with basically content creators. Me, Jeff and Aisha had a had a cool little show, but we're already friends and the chemistry was cool. Plus, we're content people. We had been content people prior to doing the show. So it was easy. It, it's almost like doing a roundtable in real life. And it was, and, and, and honestly, it was a really good show, and I'll be tuned in. So, um, you guys make sure you you guys know where Vach is. I mean, if you're if you're anywhere on YouTube, Twitter, you guys know who Vach is. But 
man, Vosh, thank you so much for your time, bro. Um, um, and you guys make sure you guys keep subscribing. We just got to 35. Um, we got to 35 and we broke. So we're at 35, 35. So we want to get to 40 K. We want to get to 40 K by what game five, game six. So we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing here on this channel. So make sure that you guys subscribe, like, share, subscribe. As always, man, love you guys. Peace.